So many different shades of orangey brown. Yeah, this this what? Oh, you getting shanked, boy? Or are those players? No, no. these are uh, just regular enemies. I I like punching stuff in this game, by the way. Oh, okay. So sometimes I'll like fire a couple shots and then finish them with a punch. I just like doing that. I I I think it's because um I used to play a lot of Uncharted and there was. Every Uncharted game has this, like, achievement yeah. where, like, you have to shoot a guy and then punch him to take him out. Oh, okay. And it's... I spent so much time, like, getting those achievements. It's, like, that's just how I play games. It's based on that one achievement in uh, Uncharted, pretty much. Greg. I, I read it wrong, and I thought it said Greg. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're fighting Greg from accounting. Greg from accounting. He's like, um, excuse me, <laughs> there's an FPS report I need you to file. <laughs> He's like, holy crap, there's wizards. And wizards. space wizards with guns. There are actually space wizards in this game. That sounds about right. Yeah. The game was, it's going for some kind of like semi, like almost like semi fantasy. Like yeah. they don't want to explain everything. So it's like, I don't know, it's like Star Wars. Don't touch them. Ow! I didn't touch them! Brent, did you not listen to the game? <laughs> Peter Dinklage told you not to touch it. Or Peter Dinklage's stunt double told you not to touch it. <laughs> his, his understudy that his then understudy. got that then got the job because he didn't do a good job in the first place. Peter Dunkle, uh, Dunklage. Peter Dunklage told you not to touch it. <laughs> Gosh dang it, it's been so long since I've played I forgot how to do everything in this game. Um, use force push. <laughs> Force push. Yeah. Use a uh, force choke. Force lightning. Use force lightning. Or, or just use a shotgun. That's cool. Oh, that guy. He had Shotos. He's wicked, obscure, like, side book Jedi <laughs> crap going on. I thought they didn't do that anymore. I thought Disney made that go away. Oh, man. George Lucas is going to have a fit. I like how I can just like punch them and they're just like, oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I think it's funny how in a lot of shooter games, punches are super powerful. It's like, what is your fist made out of? Like, adamantium with a rocket attached to it? I guess so. I guess it's Megalobox now. Okay, what's Megalobox? Uh, it's an anime about... It, it like takes place in the future or whatever. I actually haven't seen much of it. But like, it's boxing, but you have like robot arms. It's pretty, uh, I don't know. It's pretty interesting, it seems. Is it like that game, that movie that was surprisingly good with um, Wolverine in it? Wolverine, but they had the robots fighting? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like that. A I, little bit. I don't remember what that movie was called, but it was... <laughs> but you know what movie I'm talking about. Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> it's funny that we both know exactly what that is, but yeah. we don't know the name. I'm just going to call it uh, Roblox the movie. Roblox. Okay, so what is Roblox? Oh is my it a gosh. kids thing or is it an adult thing? It's a kids thing. I don't I don't think any adults like unironically play that game. Oh okay. Also I'm playing terribly right now because I haven't played for like I think a couple oh, years. They're really huggy. Yeah. They're like that Pokemon that looks like a huggy bear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. I'm I am not... Hugs McGee. <laughs> I'm not up to date on the whole Pokemon thing. I want to make... Um, I think I've told you this before, but I'm, I don't know if I've told you this on the show. What the crap is that? A flare. Oh. Are we supposed to go there? I guess. Oh, okay. Or is that like a flare, like, help, and you're just like, meh. <laughs> Let him struggle. Um, sorry. Uh, I would love to make a Pokemon tactical RPG... Um, okay, first off, not actual Pokemon, but it's a post-apocalyptic world where you're basically bands of monsters in a post-apocalyptic RPG, and uh -huh. you're all, like, mutated monsters like Pokemon. I would love that. That would be, like... And, like, maybe you could um, collect some of the Poke like monsters along the way. Like, you could spare them and have them join your clan or eat them. Or like maybe take their <laughs> <Eat> children, <laughs> take their children, and eat them, them and take their children. Yeah. Okay. It, hey, dude, it's a dog eat dog world. Literally. 
But the Ooh. dogs have rocket launchers on their shoulders because you can get bionic upgrades. Um, you know, when I was a kid, I used to think people were saying doggy dog. Oh, it's a doggy dog world. Yeah, because nobody clearly says eat. They don't say a dog eat dog world. Yeah, they don't they, articulate it correctly yeah. or enunciate. I can okay. see that. Where am I shooting? It's a Snoop Doggy Dog world. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I want to repair that thing and ride around and be like, it's time full now, boy. I think we should just go over for this Ooh. so you can finish the the first mission. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Dude's got a sniper rifle and he could hardly hit me. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I'm just like, you can't hit me. You're like, oh, snap. Uh, check this out. Okay, so what is the story of Destiny? Okay, um... Full spoiler. Full spoiler. Full spoiler. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it's, it's something along the lines of uh, people go to Mars, they find a thing called the Traveler, uh -huh. and the Traveler can, like, make people, like, certain people immortal. Uh-huh. And also there's aliens who really hate the Traveler for an unspecified reason. He owes them tax money. Yeah, something like He's that. He's being hunted down by the space IRS. And so blah blah blah, there's an apocalypse and but <laughs> but then like some people survive. Uh and I think we're yeah, we're in like Russia right now. Okay. Oh level up. Sweet. So that's kinda of like the general story where like we're like friends with the traveler because he made a bunch of people immortal. So we're so like humans like the traveler, and then there's a bunch of aliens that want to like kill it. That's kind of the general story. <laughs> so, what if the traveler is actually the bad guy? Like, uh, maybe. Like, what if like he's like, like he actually ran up like a really big debt to the space aliens. And like destroyed a bunch of planets. What if he? What if he committed genocide on like six other planets, and he's just using Earth as like a hiding out place? And it was just like, oh, I'll make you immortal if you let me hang out here. <laughs> and then like these guys are like trying to hunt him down because he's like, yeah, we need to bring this guy to justice. And they like tried to explain that to Earth, but Earth was all like, he made our leaders immortal, and the leaders are actually responsible for that. Because they were like, we're immortal now, we can rule Earth. <laughs> and then the aliens were like, no, we're going to blow you guys up. It's not even a bad story, really. Yeah, that's my story. Copyrighted 2017. <laughs> I mean, 2037. I mean, 3022. Copyrighted. Spaceship. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to be... Uh... I used to be like really good at this game. Whenever I would play online, I would have a, I would usually be the number one ranked player. Oh, that's cool. Like not not like not worldwide. Yeah, not worldwide, but it would be like um, in your group. Yeah, it, it would be like an eight v eight match, and I would have like the most kills and the, the least amount of deaths. Yeah. So I mean. That happened like all the time, so I imagine I was pretty good. Yeah. But it's been a while, and also this character has like no skills or anything I can use. It's been a while. And you know, you start out with like crappy weapons, and this is. Okay, that's just an X Wing minus the X. A little bit. Actually, the design is completely different. You'll see in a second. Oh, okay. Oh, you can make it work. Okay. If you say so, dude. I wish I could just phase into things and make them work. Mm. There, there was an episode of Fringe about that. What? Uh, these guys who built a machine where you could phase through things. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so they go to like this. Uh, I, I think it was a bank, and they got to the safety deposit stuff by going up to a concrete wall and phasing through it, and it was so awesome. Could they phase the money out? No, they they phase through the safe and then opened the little draws because it was like a safety deposit thing, so they had like the little draws. There's a spider. Have have you ever seen Fringe? I saw a couple episodes and I thought it was cool. Yeah. But apparently, um, Silver Samurai doesn't like it. Who? Uh, the X Men character that that guy kind of looks like. <gasps> you left that person behind. <laughs> 
How dare you? All right, so I think that's our destiny run for now. Yeah, I I mean I don't know what's. Oh, it's just gonna give us results. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tune yeah, in next sure. time where we do something or another. I don't know. Who cares, bro? Maybe we'll eat cheese. <laughs>